Experimental probability. Sam spun the spinner 12 times. Use Sam's results to write a fraction for the probability of each event. So the events are given here on the left side, which are probability when the spinner gets to red, probability when the spinner is on green and blue, and the third one is when the spinner is on yellow. So actually I'll change this, I'll write green or blue, right? A spinner cannot really be on both the colors until and unless it is right in the center, right? So we'll avoid that ambiguity and we'll write green or blue, right? So either of the two. So that is how the question is. And spinner is shown here on the right side. So we have shown half of it almost as red, quarter as white, and this is one-eighth as blue and green, correct? But when you do practical, then you don't really get the theoretical expected results. The results may be very different. Now Sam's results are written here, which means in 12 spins he got, first he got white, green, red, blue, green, red, red, green, red, blue, blue, and white, right? So these are the Sam's results, which we need to use to answer the question. Now I've seen some students that jump into conclusions and say probability of getting red, they write an answer as half, which will be incorrect, right? So that will be theoretical probability. Now we are discussing experimental probability. That means you really spin it, right? 12 number of times and then note where does the spinner falls or stops. Write it down. So that is a process which is repeated and it has been repeated 12 times. Results are given here. You have to consider these results to answer your question. Now, what is the probability of getting red from Sam's results? So that means how many times did Sam spin? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I know it's written there, but there is no harm in counting also. So we know that total number of outcomes are 12, right? So in all these cases, in the denominator, we will have 12, right? So that is the first thing we can write this. So these are total number of outcomes. What is 12 for us is total, I should say, number of outcomes. So that means total number of outcomes in all, right? That is 12 for us. And how many of them are favorable to red? Means they are red. They are 1, 2, 3, 4, right? So 4 are red. Therefore, probability of getting 4, probability of getting red is 4 out of 12 from Sam's results, right? Which could be simplified and you can divide both by 4 and write 1 over 3. So it is 1 third, right? It looks like half from here, but it is not so from the data given to us. That is to be noted. Now the next one is probability of getting green or blue. That means count both green and blues. So this is green, this is blue, this is green. We'll count them all. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It is 6 in all. So 6 over 12, which could be written as half. So the probability from Sam's results for green or blue is half. How about yellow? Probability of getting yellow from Sam's result. Is there any yellow here? No. So it is zero. So that is impossible. The spinner does not have that color, right? So it is just zero. So that is how we need to answer the questions when they are for experimental probability, right? Don't really get into and write down theoretical answers. That will be incorrect. Take care. Thank you and all the best.